So recently, Idea Maker had made an update, actually a couple of months ago. Um, the biggest thing people don't realize is there's all the features that it has in it. it the, the feature set it has is, is very powerful. Um, one of the big things that everyone wants S3D for, Simplify 3D for, is multiprocessing and the custom supports. Um, both of which are now in Idea Maker, have been for a while. Um, Idea Maker has some new f setup features, making it easier to load a custom printer into it, so you don't have to have a Race 3D printer to use it. Um, it's very good. What I'm going to show you today is the multiprocessing, which is different than Simplified 3D system. Um, I'm not going to say it's better. It works. It works very well. It works very well on S3D also. But um, it it's it actually makes a little more sense once you get used to it. If if you're but if you've been doing it for a long time in, in Simplified 3D, it's going to be a little different to start out. But once you get the hang of it, how it works, it's actually quite a bit more. Con it makes more sense. Um, it's a bit better layout. It's a personal thing. Um, you may or may not like it, but it's there and it works and it's an idea maker. Anyways, let's go to the computer and take a look. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Okay, these slicers, these free slicers are really becoming more and more powerful. And here's one feature that um, was really one of the only reasons, one of two reasons I originally bought Simplify 3D. But now the two things that I bought it for custom supports and multi-layer processing are both now available in idea maker and um i'm not gonna say it's easier to do it but um i think it's a little more direct not even direct i don't know it's different um, idea maker now does it it actually kind of makes more sense once you get used to it i'm just going to use a simple model to show you what i mean okay if I normally just slice this, all right, now this is a little support for a camera. When I go to preview it, and I don't know what my infill was, but when you go to uh, preview it, see this right here? This is too hollow. There's not enough infill in here. So when you go to put a screw through here, it very easily pulls apart. But I'd like to fill that in a little better. Okay, so after I do this and I see that, especially like right here, see how this is just a single infill line right here? And here? I want to fill that right in. So right around here, I want to start doing that. So, as I'm looking at it, I can see it's right around the 4 millimeter mark. This is your layers, and this is your height, actual physical height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and customize it. So right at 4 millimeters, I can change my infill. Now, I've discovered that it's kind of annoying to do it because it stays in your profile of the material. So what I want to do is duplicate it, call it base or PLA multi-layer. And that way I always have it saved for uh, what I want to do. Now I can actually cut this down to like three shells. Everything else I know I want to stay, but right here you have the group and per model. You can actually do eight different models on there all with different settings what i'm going to do is groups and layers and you select the model now i'm not doing i'm not grouping anything i'm just doing a per layer so all you have to do is hit the plus and right here it ends now i said around four so i want this one to end at four and then i'm going to add another one now this is it's kind of weird because this doesn't stay open it closes it which is okay I'm going to start this one at 4, and I'm going to bring this one up to whatever, it doesn't matter, say 100. Now you do have to make sure it's going to go beyond. Now the weird thing is, is you can't just get to that one setting right away. 
there's no infill, which is kind of weird because that should be a, you know, it says you stop and your layer height and your speed multiplier. Why you'd want a speed multiplier right here in this, I don't know. I mean, not that you wouldn't want to adjust it, but, um, so you have to add a setting. And what I want is my infill and my infill density. And actually, that's all I need is my infill density. So you go in, you select your infill density, change it. I want to do it to 100%. OK. And then slice. And then it says the groups and settings will override the slicer settings, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Now, when you preview it, We'll zoom in here. This is all now 100% infill. See that? It's all 100% infill. So all around this bolt that's screwing up through, it's all filled in nice and evenly. Then when I hit layer 4, it'll go back to infill. See? So I can save time. You can change the amount of infill. You can change pretty much anything. But that shows you the basis of, of doing multiprocessing in Idea Maker. <laughs> it actually seems a little more, I, I don't know, I don't want to say precise, I don't want to say easier, because I don't think it's any easier, I don't think it's any harder. Um, it's no more confusing, it's, it's less confusing, I think. But um, it, it's there, and it works pretty well. And uh, it's one of those features that made Simplify 3D a must-have for me, and now it's a don't need it. It's between that and having custom supports right here in Idea Maker. I just don't see a need to spend the money on Simplify 3D anymore. This this will do anything it does, and it's free. So there you have it. Really simple, easy way to do multiprocessing inside Idea Maker. Free application, ready to go. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.